So you probably have a lot of questions about X49. A uh, really good, important question is, how is it different than X39, right? We want to take a look at that. Also, it was very, very important from a business perspective that X39 remain the parent product and X49 be an add-on, right? We want to continue to message X39 as the lead-in product and X49 is something that you add on as a bonus. And so the two of them work together as companions and you're going to see some clinical data on that. So what does X49 do? It elevates a HKCU. X39, of course, as we know, elevates GHKCU. They're copper peptides, they're mother and daughter peptides, uh, but what they do is very different. GHK is ubiquitous. It's found throughout the entire body. AHK is found in more specialized tissue, and therein lies the power of X49 and AHK. So, like GHK, AHK will decline with age. Alanine is the amino acid in the AHK. So, GHK is glycine, histidine, lysine. AHK is alanine, histidine, lysine. What first got me interested in this uh, more than three years ago now is I was looking at peptides that were based on alanine. And there's an interesting thing that seems to happen in the brain with alanine metabolism. And I would go as far to say that someday there will be a naturally occurring peptide discovered that will be a very, very effective treatment for Alzheimer's disease and ALS, and it will involve manipulating the alanine pathway. So that's actually why I was researching this in the very beginning. Um, now, there are a number of things that are already known about AHK and then a number of things that we discovered in our research. One of them uh, that's known is that AHK gets involved with uh, repair of the endothelial lining. And what's interesting about that is that repair of the endothelial lining is induced by a growth factor called VEGF. Another thing that's interesting is that as you repair the endothelial lining, it has an effect on nitric oxide production. So AHK has actually been around for a number of years uh, as a cosmetic product. Uh, and one of the claims that we definitely don't make, but I'm going to tell you because you're going to find out anyway, is that it's used in hair growth. Um, <laughs> so, AHK uh, was found by Dr. Lauren Picard in studies to actually be 10 times more effective than GHK at inducing hair growth. Uh, that puts it on the same level as minoxidil. Uh, but it doesn't do it through manipulating hormones. For those of you that are interested in exploring this, uh, I've spoken with a medical doctor. We're looking at doing a study. Hair growth is a medical claim. We're not claiming hair growth. We haven't done a study on this. For those of you that are so interested, the recommendation from this doctor would be to go for microneedling to open up the pores, and then you can see if anything happens after that. Okay. So, our own research into AHK um, has been almost entirely focused on what type of claims that we're allowed to make. So, the patches in the United States are in the general wellness category, so that means that we can't make any medical claims. It has to be things like improving energy, improving the quality of sleep, uh, improving overall lifestyle and health, supporting a healthy lifestyle, and a number of fitness claims. Fitness claims, notably, fit in very well with general wellness. 
So in our clinical studies um, to support the product launch, we've looked at claims that can support fitness, but the properties of AHK do go beyond that. Okay, so we've done a number of clinical studies now on X49, both by itself and in combination with X39, because we need to understand how the two of these are going to work together and do they complement one another. And I'm happy to say the answer is yes. So generally, the way that we'll structure these studies, uh, we're doing now that one now that's a little bit different, but generally, we will do this by blood testing. Um, blood testing isn't actually the best way to detect AHK because it's mostly found in the brain and the heart and the muscle. GHK is very easy to detect in the blood. AHK, not so much. Uh, in fact, AHK is... Uh, very difficult versus AHKCU. So once AHKCU binds with copper, it's more easily detectable. And that's because AHK has a shorter life in the blood. Anyway, probably didn't need to know that. Uh, <laughs> but in any case, what we'll do is we'll take a baseline blood draw. We'll take a blood draw at 24 hours and then at seven days. And in a new study, uh, what we're looking at is blood testing over a period of two months and we're also looking at the effect that diet has on muscle growth relative to X49. So you'll hear more about that later. But this was uh, one of the studies that we did uh, where we had 10 subjects. Um, and this was our first test. And we've, one of the interesting that, things that came out of this is that we found that X49 was elevating AHK, but... Uh, when you took people that were vegans or vegetarians, they were not hitting statistical significance. Um, so we went back and we collected and we did a second study where we looked at food diaries and we found out, sure enough, it's that when people have diets which are low in alanine, which is common in a vegan diet, that X49 is not as effective. So you can add soy, you could, if you want to stay on a vegan diet, you could add soy, you could add any number of types of beans. These are rich in alanine, or you can take an alanine supplement that's very, very inexpensive. Uh, for those of you that consume red meat, eggs, fish, poultry, you're good. Okay. Um, so we had a separate study, oh, and I think I actually already covered this, so, oh, no, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, now, this is something we are not going to make a claim about, but we do have evidence that it's occurring, and we've done one clinical study, and we're going to be doing another. But it, the biochemistry showed up in the early days of us looking at this, that um, X49, AHK, would induce osteogenesis, so formation of new bone cells. So... Um, X49 may increase bone density. There's a number of factors, of course, that are involved with this. Uh, does a person have enough dietary calcium? Do they have vi adequate vitamin D to facilitate absorption of the calcium into the bone? You know, these are all kinds of questions that we have, but the chemistry is there. Um, so we may find that as a benefit. So that said, what benefits have we demonstrated in our clinical studies with X49? Well, there's some pretty significant ones. First of all, we've shown that X49 is an excellent way to build lean muscle, regardless of age. So, so you'll see uh, some examples of this. In our studies, we had people that were in their 70s uh, that were using X49, and the people in their 70s were doubling their strength in 60 days. So this is a really awesome alternative to anabolic steroids or testosterone for building lean muscle. Um, obviously, if we're building muscle, we're also going to be increasing strength. I'm going to show you some of the results from these studies. But as it turns out, you know, surprise, surprise, when you build muscle, you also gain strength and stamina. 
And again, regardless of age, we also saw phenomenal improvements in stamina. So we put people on an exercise bike. We wanted to measure how fast they could pedal, how far they could go. And I'll show you those results. Uh, but we found even within the first week of using X49, people were starting to see improvements in their strength and stamina. And so from the perspective of marketing this product, you can give people samples and expect that most people will see results their very first week. Um, we, of course, would like people to use it for the full month before they come to any conclusion. So like carnosine, which is an antioxidant that contains alanine, AHK is also found in the heart and there's probably going to be some cardiovascular benefits to this that are rather significant. They're things that we can't make claims about, but as you saw just a moment ago, that AHK induces repair of the endothelial lining, so this would indicate that it might reduce our risks in certain areas of life, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so staying on the health and wellness claims, Let's take a look at some of the things that happen now in this first study, and uh, we followed this up with a second study, but this is representative. So over a period of uh, 60 days in this test group, which were people over the age of 40, and a number of people in the group were in their 60s and 70s, the number of sit-ups they could do increased by over 70% in two months using X49 only. This is X49 only at the moment. Number of push-ups, over 80% improvement in two months in an older population. Number of squats, over 47% improvement. Bicep curl strength increased over 100% in, over t in uh, just two months of using X49 only. And grip strength increased by about 75% in only two months of using just X49. So this really begs the question, what happens if we combine it with X39, right? So what happens when we combine these two? X49 only versus the combination of the two. We saw on the number of calories burned, over a 90% improvement. Now, um, we, did, we have a piece of technology that we purchased just for these studies that does a full body scan. And I'm gonna show you an image uh, from the study so you can see how that translates into change in body shape in two months. Uh, bike top speed increased by 27% versus 22% with the combination. The distance that was traveled was also increased by the combination of the two, or X49 only. Now, we were speaking about health of the heart. There's a relaxation response that occurs with using both X39 and X49. There's an improvement in endothelial function, and this translates into not only a decrease in the pulse rate, but a change and improvement in blood pressure. So here we see, just using X49 only, versus the combination of two, the pulse rate comes down. So what our data is showing is that both X39 and X49 have an effect on our overall body, but what they do is they work in different ways at improving health. X49 mostly, in this example, is focusing on uh, our muscle mass. And as a result of getting an increase in lean muscle, we also see corresponding decrease in body fat. And this is not a fat burning mechanism per se that we would usually think of. Um, so after two months of using X49, uh, people find out not only have they gained more strength, stamina, and lean muscle, but the amount of body fat also reduces. Okay, so here's uh, one of the images from the study. This is a fellow that is 74, and I want you to take 
a look at a couple of uh, the points here. The most important one is the health risk. You can look at the body fat percentage where he started out at 37.5, which is not so good. Um, but what this equipment does is it calculates risk for things like cardiovascular disease, and then it just puts it into a simple percentage. So at this body fat relative to muscle mass, he's got a 50, he's 53% higher than ideal in body composition. Now this is what happens after using X49 uh, just for two months. I'm gonna put those images side by side so you can see them. Okay, so uh, at age 74, not only was he able to get a reduction in body fat, but look what happened with the health risk now. 53% to 20%. So this is very much in keeping with the goals of the company. We want to uh, not only improve people's overall body shape, but improve their health. That's ultimately the goal. Okay, so some other interesting things here too. So I think it's gonna turn out that we're gonna be able to make the claim of increasing bone density, but we'll see. So don't go out and say that in the marketing and advertising. Uh, let us finish out some of our studies and see how it turns out. But it's certainly looking pretty good. Um, one of the things that came out of the study as well that you'll definitely see when you go out and exercise with this is you will not get as sore when you're exercising. Your body will be able to take more resistance and stress and you're gonna recover much faster after exercise. Uh, this is also as a prerequisite of saying, again, get your diet in line, making sure that you're taking adequate amounts of healthy protein and fat and using this to uh, support a muscle building and strength and stamina routine. But generally, uh, that said, people in these studies have found they recover more quickly when using this product. Uh, I think we've already covered how X49 supports the health of the heart, so I wanna get into one other thing here, more specifically is on blood pressure. So we had first saw this um, in clinical studies that we did with X39, and it appears there's a number of things that are going on here. One is that the cardiovascular system itself seems to be go through some repair. And there's also a relaxation response in the autonomic nervous system. Um, so we're not 100% sure why we see decreases in blood pressure, uh, but we have certainly measured it and we've obtained statistical significance with it. Um, by the way, if someone had high blood pressure, I would not be using only uh, this product for reduction in blood pressure, I would be combining it, again, with a, a healthy diet and a number of nutritional supplements like pomegranate extract, uh, vitamin K2, that we know are gonna help to clean out uh, the arterial walls. But that in of itself was uh, interesting. Now, we're currently doing a study uh, because of uh, COVID, um, it is taking two to three times longer to finish clinical studies than it was doing before COVID. So there's a number of clinical studies that we started before the pandemic that hadn't finished up uh, even today because clinics had to shut down and some of these are, are resuming. Uh, but we're doing one very, very interesting study that's near closure. And um, we're taking people that were professional athletes in a sport in America that you would all know and uh, we're having them use X39 and X49, and with a functional MRI, we are looking to see how their overall cognition improves over time. So uh, I'm looking forward to sharing that study with you. So what, about, what else about the brain? Well, we're concerned with 5G, and um, I, downloaded, I'm going to say it this way, since this is the proper way to characterize it. I downloaded this idea, uh, was blessed with this idea 
of creating a biological Faraday cage. And so years ago, we had developed in our labs a device to block the radiation that was coming off of cell phones. And we sold that product for a few years, but then it became very, very evident that this was not going to be a long-term solution to this problem. That um, because of the proliferation of 4G and now 5G, with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi being everywhere, we really needed to address this problem in an entirely different way. And um, I started to think about, is it possible that human beings were meant to be upgraded as a way of addressing future challenges? So, in other words, the, the idea is kind of interesting from the sense that human beings have been able to adapt and survive for at least thousands of years. And so could we have, could we have been created with an adaptation process that was foreseen of the electronic smog and pollutants that we're all faced with today? So if we wanted to block electromagnetic signals, the way that we would do that is we would take a device and we would put it in a Faraday cage. And so a Faraday cage is generally something like a copper screen which is grounded and you put a cell phone inside and it can no longer receive uh, a signal, communication. That radiation is blocked. So I began to think about this idea of could, would there be a way that we could do this in human beings, and if we could do it, how would we do it? So the general idea behind this is, well, we have a product that is capable of binding with copper. We know that copper will block radiation. So if we could cause that peptide to maybe link with another peptide that was capable of binding copper, we may be able to develop a network of peptides in the skin that are bound to copper that block radiation. And uh, so what we may find as a result of the combination of X39 and X49 is that it reduces a person's susceptibility to things like 5G. Uh, we have some preliminary evidence that this works. Um, so this research is ongoing, um, had hoped to have the completed study for you today, but the preliminary results are, are pretty exciting, so I hope we are releasing that um, in the future as a product claim. So, in summary, what we're doing with X49 is we are continuing on with our vision of expanding the product line with stem cell products. And we're going to go through a phase now, it'll be about three to five years, where we're going to continue to release other products that induce stem cell activity in the body and help to support overall regeneration. So X49 is our next step in that direction. And as we're doing this, we're going to be offering new benefits that we haven't had access to before. So now we have an effective way to combat age-related sarcopenia, muscle loss. And now there's no reason why people that are in their 60s, 70s, or 80s have to deal with a weakening condition. They can recapture the strength and stamina that they had when they were younger, and we've proven that's the case. This is now, I know I've spent, I'm 58, so I've spent a lot of time you know, talking about people that are a little bit older. Uh, but this is going to open up some opportunities because we have people in their 20s and teens that are using X49 and getting great results. And so in athletics, as you all know, it's about that 1% difference in performance that means the difference between a gold medal and not placing at all. So uh, we think this is going to open up opportunities in our business, in our marketing, uh, that maybe we couldn't reach before. So we think this will expand our business opportunities. 
And of course, <laughs> and of course, this puts us on the continued path towards introducing products that reverse the human aging process. So in our marketing, we want to keep X39 as the premier product and X49 will be the daughter product. And people will add X4, X39 should be their first experience with LifeWave. And as you add X49, then people can get these additional benefits of strength and stamina. Okay? Okay, so we haven't talked about where you put X49. Well, <laughs> This is the beauty of it. It's incredibly simple. Just like X39, you can apply it just about anywhere on the body and it works. So in our clinical studies, we have people using it either behind the neck or below the belly button. And that's just a standard convention that we have. And um, with government regulators, you have to be able to show that your instructions match with your clinical studies. So that's why we keep a standard convention. Uh, but in practice, you could put X49 along the front, along the back, uh, on the right side of the body generally. Anywhere you want to apply it, it's going to work. And we've gotten some fantastic X49 testimonials. So our customer service department was, uh, after we got through clinical studies, they were kind enough to uh, volunteer and try the product and they gave us some of the initial feedback of, oh my, we really love X49. Um, this one is really fun uh, because Andrea said that he felt like he was powered by a nuclear reactor. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another testimonial from Jess using X49 like a pre-workout. So we got... I'll spare you the rest, but um, we got some phenomenal testimonials on X49 right from the beginning. Thank you. It is, a, uh, it is really just a true honor and privilege for me uh, to be here with all of you. Uh, you've all changed my life in dramatic way. You get to let me be an inventor and be in my lab and develop these products, which is something that I absolutely love. And um, I truly appreciate all of the time and the energy, the hard work, the devotion, the community uh, that you've all created to make this business what it is today. And um, without all of you, none of this happens. So thank you for being a gift to the world and making this world a better place. God bless you all. Thank you. Four. Wow, is that a presentation of a fantastic product or what? Yes, indeed. You know, just before we break for lunch, don't go anywhere because I've, I was had a chance to speak to a whole bunch of people about had they had some experiences with X49, and I pulled two out of the audience right now. Oz Fuentes, first of all, uh, you're from where? Phoenix, Arizona. And what's your position? What's your rank? Uh, senior director. And you've been in the business how long? Uh, less than three months. This guy is moving and shaking. So talk to me, what has been your experience with X49? Oh, absolutely am amazing. It's been two months I've been on it. I mean, my workouts, it's like a pre-workout. It's like having an a, uh, invisible workout partner or, or personal trainer when you're trying to push, get those extra two set, you know, extra two reps. Um, just Seriously? The, the recovery, I mean, the, um, the recovery, the endurance during the workout too, whether you're workout at the gym, whether you're doing, you know, hiking, whether you're doing bicycle, I mean, just about anything that has to do with exercise has just been mind-blowing. Um, I used to stack up on supplements and things like that, pre-workout things, and, you know, during workouts, BCAAs, and you name it, and it's just amazing what it does to, you, to your body. I mean, you literally become, you know, like, I mean, it's just powerful, powerful stuff. 
Thanks, Oz. Thank wow. How about that, huh? And also standing here is Julie. What's your last name? Excuse me, Christy? Christy Chapman. Now, Christy, where are you from? Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, we have two from Phoenix. How about that? And what's your rank? Um, director. Congratulations. And you've had some experiences with X49 as well, right? Yes. T talk to me. Yeah, so I was able to uh, use the patch, and I was off of it for a little bit. So I was on it for a month, off for three weeks, and I noticed a huge difference. I didn't realize it was the patch that was causing it, but my, my workouts, my stamina, my recovery time decreased when I went off of it, and then I got to get back on. And I, am, I do uh, bar cardio. It's extremely hard workout mentally and physically, and I'm hanging with 20, 30, 40-year-olds. I'm 51, and I love... My workouts, my recovery, my endurance, and I have to say, I am growing hair, new hair. I didn't know that was maybe part of it. And also, um, my sleep and vivid dreams are absolutely incredible. Wow. Couple of testimonials. Oz, Christy, thanks very much. Wow. One last thing. One last thing I'll mention, my son Carson, who rode across the United States barefooted and spoke at our convention in January of 26, this is a crazy man, right? 26, 27 year old, he got a hold of X49. He's currently training, hopes to be an Olympian in 24 in cycle racing. And he said the muscles in his legs, he couldn't believe how they were just getting bigger. He said, Dad, I don't know what's going on, but that X49 has got to be fantastic. So, <laughs> right? So anyway, we're going to take a break. We're going to be back at 1.30. Now, don't go we're going to be absolutely positioning you, helping you get messaging, positioning, and an understanding of what do you do with what David just told you. What do you really need to know so you go out armed with the right things to talk about, the ways to approach the new demographic we get to go after? So you're going to be hearing that from Jason Goff, our Senior Director of Product Marketing. And then later you're going to hear from some people, members, leaders who are absolutely getting it done. How are they doing it? You're going to find out, and then our Iron Cowboy is going to be here. Talk about an X49 testimonial. Oh, my goodness. So be back here at 1.30.